right, guys, it's Friday. And uh, a little late today with the editorials because it's my day off. I slept in. God, it's good to sleep in. I'll tell you what, it's good to be the king. Uh, no, it's good to sleep in. So I slept in, but I do have a Friday editorial for you. I try to have one every day, Monday through Friday. Sometimes I have them on the weekends. But this one deals with the protests that happened last month, the George Floyd protests, and apparently a police officer that kicked a protester sitting down won't face charges. Here's your video clip. Sitting there. They're amazing fucking innocent people right now. You saw what he did, and apparently we're going to go through an editorial here where they said that police officer has no charge. Uh, there's no charge, Looney. <laughs> huh? So thank you to PenLive.com for this story. A Pennsylvania police officer seen on video kicking a protester sitting on the street during civil unrest in Erie will not face any criminal charges in this matter, prosecutors said Thursday. Erie County District Attorney Jack Denary also said the protester will not face charges stemming from the May 30th incident. Speaking at a news conference, Denary said the officer's actions did not warrant prosecution. <laughs> he added that the officer who has not been identified by city officials had the right to use that kind of force under the circumstances. Denary also mentioned that at the time the protester, Hannah Silbaugh, 21, was kicked, police and a law enforcement vehicle needed to get past the line of protesters to attend to more serious violence in the area. Denary said the protesters could have been charged with failure to disperse, but his office declined to file those charges because of the facts and in the interest of moving forward. Erie Mayor Joe Schimber had announced June 15th that the officer would be suspended for three days without pay and would remain on desk duty until he completed sensitivity training. Schimber and Erie Police Chief Dan Spizami have both said the investigation had concluded that the officer followed approved procedures and his use of force was technically justified, technically. But the mayor said his actions warranted discipline. The altercation happened during nationwide demonstrations following the killing of George Floyd. Police said several hundred people descended on City Hall at night and began spray painting the building, breaking windows, pulling parking meters out of the ground, vandalizing shops and restaurants and throwing objects at the police. Officers used tear gas and tried to disperse the crowd. In the video, the officer is seen approaching Silba as she is seated in the middle of the street and kicking her over. Silba filed an internal affairs complaint alleging that the officer assaulted her by kicking her. Her lawyer, Timothy McNair, has taken legal steps toward filing a lawsuit. So what gets me is I understand that they were trying to disperse the crowd. I understand that she was just sitting there not doing anything when she was probably told to leave an unlawful assembly. <clears throat> I understand that she was sitting in the middle of the street. I also understand that they were walking around in circles, spraying her with pepper spray. And then the officer walks up and kicks her in the head, knocking her over. But it was technically justified. What does that mean? So if I walk up and punch a cop in the face, but it doesn't leave a mark and he doesn't bleed. Am I technically okay? Because he technically didn't get hurt. Is that, I mean, what's this technically? It was a technical foul. Do, do, do. Come on, man. So, I mean, not that the cop, okay, maybe he, I don't know if he should face charges or not. <clears throat> um, because it was, I mean, there were, mitigating circumstances uh they had said it was an unlawful assembly they were trying to disperse a crowd and she was sitting in the middle of the street not moving okay but there should be some type of discipline or retraining or something i mean just to walk up and kick somebody sitting on the ground in the head well it was technically justified well you're technically an asshole i mean <laughs> I don't know, guys. I, I could beat this one all day, and I still am confused. I'm going to get people that go, well, no, he was justified because she wasn't moving. Okay, so everybody that decides not to, I mean, everybody that decides to resist the police and not, I'm just going to stand here. I'm not going to let you arrest me. You can just walk up and punch him in the face and go, hey, man, 
He's technically justified. I don't even know where to go with this one. I'm lost. This cop walks up and kicks somebody in the head who's sitting on the ground. And, well, he followed procedure. What the fuck kind of procedures you guys got in Erie, Pennsylvania? Let me know in the comment section what you think. Woo, it is Friday. I need my coffee. Community Leo Watch watching Leos. That's law enforcement officers from coast to coast on this Friday. I may have a video for you coming tomorrow. It's reference a certain protest here in town. See if they really protest. And if they do, I'll get it for you guys. So look out for tomorrow for that video. Thank you guys. Have a great weekend.